Okay, sup guys, this is Josso Tuna. I'm going to be playing this game called um, Shooting Chickens. And commentating with me is the Bat Skull. It's Shooting Chickens is... Yeah, that's <laughs> my friend Nathan. Uh, yeah, it's an indie game with... Well, okay, honestly, I saw an anime chick with a shotgun, so I downloaded it. That's, that is that is 100% my reason. And uh, the Bat Skull over here has no idea what this game is. He's literally going to be just commentating on the fly. And it's it's some funny stuff, so just just check it out. It's it's interesting game. Uh, if it would start, there we go. yeah, I know. It looks, this looks all ominous, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, this is just the trial version. Yeah, yeah, this is just the indie game. I didn't get the full game. <laughs> anyway, Shocking. shoot it. Yeah, shooting chickens. Yep. Anime girl with shotgun. No, no, no. Basically, this game is Metal Slug. It's it's Metal Slug, basically. Trust me. I just saw this game. Like, what is this? And I played it for like two minutes. It's like it's got like a rocking soundtrack, an anime chicken, a maid outfit, and you're shooting chickens. Pretty much. Girl with it. Girl. Yep. Yep. A girl with a shotgun in a sewer, <laughs> shooting people with it. The... See, so look and just. You can pick up like upgrades and stuff. Mm -hmm. It is an Uzi, yeah. And look, oh yeah, you can do like a a dash thing. It's called avoidance. See, like that. Like, yeah. Oh well, Akuma, Akuma teleport. Oh, Yun and Yang, yeah, like the dash punch. Well, it's it's a bit like that, except you use it to avoid stuff. That's the cool thing. No, it's like it's like avoidance. It's like a dash because like you get past enemies that way. Anyway, I'm just running around. I picked up. I'm an upgrade now. I'm going like in an ambush, and I'm throwing grenades and stuff at the chickens. The shotgun's pretty handy, but like it's kind of tricky because she has to reload it every time. And I switch to the Uzi again. And I'm just spraying them. This game's pretty ridiculous. So you're probably wondering why is there an anime chick in a maid outfit in a sewer shooting chickens jumping around on stalks? Well. That's a good question, and I don't have an answer to it. But whatever, <laughs> let's just watch the game. It's, it's it's actually pretty fun. I mean, it starts off stupid, like what is this game? But once you sort of get infected by the music, you're just sort of playing it, and you're like, you know, what? I don't I don't care. Look, yeah, I know. I think it's it's weird, like, because a game would just sort of tell you it, the tutorial and just make you play. But I don't know. This is what makes it kind of simple because in all the craziness. Yeah, like, it, it makes it easy to remember what, what you're doing, considering how ridiculous this game is. It's like, hey guys, I have here. Let's, let's put on shooting chickens, this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> We're gonna shoot some chickens in a sewer with an anime girl, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> For all we know. Oh, he's actually made all these other games. Oh, no, I missed the jump. He's actually made all these other games where you, like... It's like a point-and-click adventure. And you press the buttons to, like, explore. But it's pretty crazy. Because it's pretty much like you walk around. You interact with people. If you run up to someone, you have to fight them. You press a button. But if you press the wrong button, you die. And you have to start from the beginning. So it's like one of those create your own adventure things. Yeah, with, with, with boobies. <laughs> and stuff. It's and I think we're gonna die here because I got swarmed and I forgot to switch my weapon and then yeah I just jump over and get hit by that thing and die. Yeah, this thing is like it's kind of unforgiving because you only get checkpoints from the beginning of the room, so I had to start from the beginning of the room and yeah go back. Doing a little bit better. I know this game is it's mad silly. I know. You pick up the Uzi again. So yeah, this game's pretty random. And oh, get hit by the chicken. Just kill the chickens, jump up, get the grenade. That brown chicken tried to get me. What's so weird is when they drop dead like that and they sort of slide. So random. Yeah, no, there's a brown one on the ground. Like, it sort of slid. It's looking at me. Oh my god. Hey, shot you. <laughs> nah, no racism here, man. Anyway, it, what's interesting is even though the chickens do hurt you, you can pick up chicken and it gives you health. 
you know, typical Castlevania Tekken style, you know, chicken. <laughs> you remember that, right? Tekken, man, that, that's always hilarious. Okay, why I'm not switching to the Uzi is beyond me. I think I got like a combo from blowing up several of them, and then yeah, I switched to the Uzi. Oh, no, they're like, they're blocking your way. Like, so it's like an ambush. It's so random, I know. Anyway, just pull out the shotgun and back to blasting chickens. <laughs> then I get an M16, it looks like. Which I switched to immediately. I just, I thought to myself, like, I wonder what the rest of the levels are. Because I think after this bit, I actually get kind of far. Because I, oh yeah, wait, no, no, this is the bit I got to before. You know, with the barrel and the jump. I don't mess up the jump this time. <laughs> I know, I know she's sort of like running into it, but it's like, Unlike Contra, you can't do like a standing shoot. You have to like move while shooting when you're angling it up. So it's like you had to sort of keep running. Throw a grenade down there. Contra is difficult. Yeah, Contra is still good though. At some point, I, n I need to play Hardcore Uprising on arcade mode. Which is going to be silly because on arcade mode you don't get any upgrades. And if there's an achievement. On Hardcore Uprising for completing it without picking up a single weapon, without killing more than 50 regular enemies, and without dying. Seriously? Yep, it's not all the same achievement, the three different achievements, but honestly, getting that on arcade mode, well, no, getting it on normal mode, rising mode, with all your upgrades is impossible. Getting it on arcade mode, yeah, <laughs> that's not happening. Okay, now, obviously, the Steam doesn't want me let me get that little item over there, so I was like, screw that, I'll just wait for the Steam to go. Because, yeah, anim anime girl with shotgun or not, you're still going to get hurt by Steam. I don't I don't even know what it was for, I'm not even sure, but, um, yeah, this is like the furthest I've gotten. And I'm just like, okay, then I'm shooting more chicken, spitting off some chicken. And look, next room! And I thought, okay, what's going to happen now? And, oh my god, look, so many of them. Pick up the Uzi, start spraying. If you've noticed, it sort of lags a bit when there's a lot going on. It's kind of crazy. There's chickens everywhere. Stuff's crazy. Yeah, I'm just running along and some platforming bits now. I gotta get a chicken up there. I'm just wondering, is it gonna be like just these stupid stocky chicken like the whole game? Or will there be like, I, I don't know, mutant chicken, evolved chicken, giant chicken, boss chicken, you know what I mean? Chicken, chicken. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, so yeah. It, it, it's a silly, stupid. It's a silly and stupid looking game, but it is fun. And I try to get this item, and I think I fail like twice. Uh, is it it's not. No, it's single player. And anyway, I'm just in this ambush. I think the game's about to end here, because like the the you know like indie game trials don't last long. Yeah. But yeah, this is pretty crazy. Now, I would have got this for a mystery game, but I don't know, I, I wanted to keep the list of mystery games to what it is normally, so... Th this this would have been fun for- oh, oh, there it is, yeah, that's it. So anyway, yeah, this game was Shooting Chickens, indie game on Xbox Live Arcade, um... <laughs> this is Josso Tuna, that was Last Night Mate, oh, um... What's his name? 80 Microsoft Forts, yeah, this is the Bat Skull and Josso Tuna, yeah, see ya.